Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on, successors, and welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and today we have a very special episode of the Speak Your Success Podcast. Uh, Today we had somebody write in an email, and after reading the email, I was going to directly answer back, and then I thought, well, somebody else might be able to gain some value, and somebody else might want to utilize this information. So today we're talking about how I started my t-shirt printing business, right? How I started my t-shirt printing business. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to make shirts like these. See, if you're watching YouTube, how to make shirts like these right here. I'm going to take you through the exact process that I went through and what I learned. And then from there, you should be good to go and you should be able to print your own merch, maybe make a couple extra dollars and ultimately be able to help somebody else. So I'm going to go ahead and read the email to you. And the email reads, hi, Jonathan. I recently came across your podcast on Spotify and they are incredibly on point. We appreciate that, Lorraine. She said, thank you. And then she said, I I would like to expand on playing to win. Need more of this. Is there a book you can recommend so I understand deeper? So there's going to be two parts of this podcast. The first part, I'm going to break down that question and answer that for her with the book recommendation. And then the second part, I'm going to break down and show you how to get into the T-shirt printing business. Okay, so for the first answer to that, Lorraine, and by the way, if you all are not subscribed to our channel on YouTube, I would suggest you type in Jonathan J. Speaks, and then you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll wait cool and then you can see the video of me showing how to produce t-shirts uh and even showing this book recommendation so lorraine for the first uh the first part to answer your question a book recommendation i will give to you is this book right here by my brother david shans dreams are built overnight that's right dreams are built overnight how to create a bridge between your day job and your daydream by David Shands. This book right here is true gold. Okay, it's true gold. The tangible application he gives you just to shift the mindset, the way he challenges how you spend your time, the way he talks about how to create social capital building relationships, right here, David Shands. This is my guy. And I interviewed him a few episodes ago. I'm not sure exactly what episode it was, but I would suggest you go back and listen to that episode as well because he just thinks differently And I can really appreciate uh, the way that he encourages us, but then also challenges us to be more accountable with our time. So I would suggest this book one more time by David Shands, Dreams Are Built Overnight. I'll have the link down in the show notes. And then for the second part of her question, she said, also, I have a list of words mostly targeted to encourage and uplift women and girls. I would like to print on bracelets, T-shirts, and other ladies' wear. I'm just not sure how to start. Please share some advice on starting and perhaps even marketing slash capital. Thank you for your time. Can't wait to hear back from you, Lorraine. I want to say I appreciate you for taking time to write an email. And you're all the way, all the way in Toronto, Canada. So we thank you for writing, uh, writing in and just for your request and just for your ask, we're going to get right down to the nitty gritty, okay? So first, in, in regards to wanting to print T-shirts, because I can't really speak on printing bracelets, and uh, that's not my biggest focus, but you said T-shirt and other ladies wear. The, the first place I would suggest you to start, or the first place I started, and really quick, I just want to give a shout-out to my guy, Rob Hollywood, on uh, Instagram. He is the co-host of the Chicken and Whiskey podcast. He was a big piece of who helped me get into T-shirt printing because I saw he was printing shirts. And he has a great nonprofit, by the way, Quap Cares, which is C-A-W-P Cares, because that's Chicken and Whiskey podcast, Cares. Um, But he helped me because I was talking with him and I said, hey, how'd you start printing shirts? He said, John, it's, it's really not that difficult. 
I would just suggest this. Okay, so after talking with him, he suggested a website for me. It's called FM Expressions, right? And there you can send them a logo, and then based on the logo you send them, then they can send you back what you call these things, which are heat transfers. These right here. These, these are what you call heat transfers. And you take these, you put them on a shirt, and then you press them. And actually, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my heat press just so we can go ahead and really uh, get the process going. I have is called a Fancier Studio, and they get very hot. I'm going to go over here. We're going to turn it on. It's set to 320 degrees. But with that being said, we have to understand that it takes a little bit of time to heat up. So you can see right here behind me, we got the heating press right here. And you can see the brand is called a Fancier Studio, okay? Uh, I will link that in the bio also. You can grab that off of Amazon. But the, the biggest piece here, the biggest piece here is to, to get your logo or to get what you want to print based on how I've done it, okay? Get what you want to print. You send that to FM Expressions, and they send you these heat transfers. When I first got started, I bought a few heat transfers right here so I have a couple and then you take the heat transfer right you take that you have to get that in after getting the heat transfer hold on a second I'm gonna put this on here okay so after getting the heat transfer then one thing you have to take into account as well you need shirts you need shirts you need shirts Whatever color that your brand colors are, whatever color that you want to push, whatever color you want to promote. Because right here, you see I have on a, a, a forest green shirt, but then I also have a few variations because I have like this one. It's like infrared-ish. Then I have this other one, olive, like a light olive. This is probably my favorite color right now. This one in the cool blue one that we have. Um, and all those are available on Jonathan Jones Speaks dot com forward slash products <clears throat> we get the shirt and we lay it down on the heat press we want to lay it out put it all the way about there and then what we always want to do before we press our shirt <clears throat> it's still heating up as you can see but you want to press the shirt for a little bit of time maybe like five seconds one two three four five but the thing that's cool about this heat press, it counts down and it lets you know how many seconds it's going. Then it beeps at you. Then you see all the wrinkles that we once had on there, they are now knocked. They're knocked out, right? So that, that's that. So we order heat transfers from FM Expressions. Okay, got that, Lorraine and everybody else listening. Then on top of that, we go here and we set up our shirt. And I feel like I don't need to say this, but I will. These things get very, very, very hot. Very hot. But we want to line up our shirt. And one thing that I like to do is after I press it once to knock those wrinkles out, another thing I do, I fold it in half to where I get the, the ends of the collar and also the sleeves together to where it's like halved. You fold it like so. You see, it's like the shirt's folded in half. If we were folding paper, this would be what you call hot dog style, right? So we get that, and I like to press it one more time <clears throat> so that we have the logo or we have the, the image that we want to print. So then we can really get it centered right there in the middle. You can see there's a line right there, right about the middle. Got the shirt pulled all the way back. We lined it up. <clears throat> then we get our heat transfer. For those of you who are watching this on video, it looks like this is 
the logo is facing the correct way, but it's actually mirrored. So I like to take this and I like to fold it right in half. Then we fold it in half. Then we put it down right there over the shirt. Right there over the shirt. Then I have something called a T squared. That's this. Okay. And it really makes it easy for you if you're at home making your own shirts. Then you line it up and you see where about you are because this helps you. This helps you make sure that your logo and stuff like that is not crooked. Okay. So we get that lined up. I like to line these up at the end right here at the top of the press. And mind you, there are many other presses. There are many other presses and there's many other ways that you can print t-shirts. And then I like to set mine to where I go one, two, three, four. It's like right there, right at the four. You go down. You wanna make sure that although we did put a line, we wanna make sure that that line in the middle of the shirt isn't popping up because if it's popping up, then we can have, it, it can be to where it creates like a space between the logo when you press it down and when you do it to print. So make sure to keep that in mind. But now it's almost ready to go because we look, we see our degrees right there. It says 320. And now with this one, with this heat transfer, it only needs to be on there. So 320 for 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Depends on the type of transfer, but we're gonna go ahead and press it now. So I'm gonna set this back here and then, and then press it. Goes off, press goes up. We peel this back. And then sometimes we might need to do it, we might need to repress it like for a little bit because you wanna make sure that you keep you want to make sure that you keep your logo, you keep your transfer on the shirt. You want to make sure you get it on and that it's able to get melted onto the shirt. So sometimes you might need to press it a little bit longer, but ultimately, like I say, you might need to press it longer sometimes. Sometimes it takes longer than others, but then got a finished shirt ready to go. We'll make sure that we turn off our press. Make sure we turn off our press. And then, my friends, that right there is how you start a t-shirt printing business. In all honesty, um, it's that simple. You really just need a heating press, which I have back there. I made it look really easy, I know. But it, it will take some time to just get an understanding and to make sure that you are on top of the learning curve. Ultimately, you need a heating press. You need um, heat transfers, or you can get vinyl to uh, get cut in something called like a Cricut or some of the other machines. I'll go into that uh, with another video. If you all like this video, give me feedback on it, and then I'll show you how I use my Cricut Maker that I recently upgraded to. And then there's even the other aspect to where we talk about screen printing and silk screen and stuff like that. But if this video was helpful to you, comment below. Uh, if you have any questions for me, uh, shoot me uh, shoot me an email, info at jonathanjonespeaks.com, or even be sure to comment just on video, Jonathan J. Speaks on this video of how I started my t-shirt printing business. Then after I printed my t-shirts, one thing I started to do was, one, I started an Instagram page, so that's at Successful Tees. Uh, and from there, then I began to reach out to people seeing if they needed somebody to print t-shirts for them, seeing uh, how I could serve them. And ultimately from there, like I said, you need a heating press, tra heat transfers, and then you need t-shirts. So you can buy t-shirts from Michaels, you can buy t-shirts from Big Lots, you can buy t-shirts from a lot of places, or I would suggest that you go to wholesaling sites or wholesale retailers to buy t-shirts. And from there, then you can get t-shirts at a certain cost and then turn around put the logo on it, put the transfer on it, and then sell those t-shirts. But that's how I've started my t-shirt printing company. I've learned as I've gone. I've made some mistakes. I've made some mess ups. But you do that. And in regards to 
marketing and capital marketing the best form of marketing is social media and even outside of social media uh, word of mouth so letting everybody know that you now print t-shirts is a great way to begin to generate business and even on my instagram at successful tees you can see me put out different graphics you can see me put out different pieces and i always wear the pieces that i press i told myself i'm no longer buying anyone else's clothes i'm just going to print my own so i'm printing my own clothes now i'm printing my own messages and putting it out there to encourage and inspire other people so if that did not answer your question lorraine please let me know uh, how i better can answer shoot me an email but if that did <clears throat> answer shoot me a comment on youtube as well subscribe jonathan j speaks and let me know how i can best uh, serve and support you all but all right thank you for taking the time to rock with us today friends if this was beneficial for you let me know if you like this type of content please let me know and i'll continue to produce more but if not still let me know that as well all right my friends it's tedx speaker and best-selling author jonathan jones reminding you to speak your success Believe in your greatness and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way?